Where has the huntress been hiding, you might ask? Not the jungle. Although, it's been seeming like a jungle out there recently. I got this at Goodwill. But it's really big. Look at it. You could use it as an umbrella. You guys want to see what I've picked up these past couple weeks I've been gone? I thought you might. Let's go check it out. All right, apart from this awesome philodend philodendron leaf that I got at Goodwill for like three bucks, I got some more fake flowers. I have them in this face here. I'm not sure if I'll put these in my booth for staging or maybe during the warmer months, I'll be feeling kind of tropical and I could put them out. These are some pretty nice quality flowers. And I think I got them for half off, so about five bucks for those guys. Okay guys, let's start off with stuff that I found at Goodwill these past couple weeks. I have for you today a set of not one, not two, not three, oh my, but four tiki glasses. They all have different faces, different colors, and they are made of glass. This one says, Ugh. and this one says, Ugh. and this one says, <laughs> anyway, I picked these up. I think they were a dollar and some change each. I also have this really cool pair of wood candlesticks. They have this checkered pattern along the base and then it's like striped up here. There's no markings. There's that like L mark, but this one has it too, but this one has like a circle carved in the middle of it. Yeah, I might keep these because I quite like them. They do have the holes on top to put candlesticks in. The other day at the Goodwill, I found a couple more bells, even though I've sworn off bells forever after my Fenton Bell, like my Fenton Bell marathon I went on. So this bell here is signed Hank 83. It's so light and white, you might not be able to see it. You can kind of see a bit there, maybe. And also it is inscribed Mount St. Helens ash glass along the rim. Kind of, you guys see those words there? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Anyway, it's got a little chip here, a little bit of chipping. Got a nice little bead here, handmade, slag glass looking bell. And this is a little stoneware owl. Why isn't he ringing? <laughs> Ring, darn you! I guess I was feeling a little birdie. There's a few bird themed objects that I have to show you today. Oh, today I found this little piece of Polish pottery. There it is. Someone put a candle in it, but I still bought it. It was a dollar and some change. I have a Polish collector that uh, follows me, my dad. <laughs> so that'll probably go to him if he wants it. Speaking of parents, this is gonna go to my mom. Look at him. Oh, it's a cute little squirrel with an apple. He has the cutest little face, doesn't he? It's not marked or anything, but I saw him and I thought, oh, he's perfect for fall and he has the sweetest little face. I picked up this today. It is a, so it says handmade by American Craftsmen. Still has a sticker, paid under $4 for this. And it's a wood inlaid owl picture. Ain't that neat? I mean, I've seen stuff like this in antique malls and they have them pretty pricey. I'm not sure um, how old it is. 
but it's a neat piece of art. I also got at the Goodwill a few weeks ago, one of these Federal Eagle mirrors. There we are. <laughs> this one is, um, it looks like it's painted like wood, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's like chalkware or something. It's got a little bit of weight to it. And the back has been painted. I'm not sure if the makers did that or if someone else did. But this one might go to my father as well because he likes eagles and Polish stuff. And I'm here to provide him with eagles and Polish stuff. Okay, my last find from the Goodwill that I have here to show you today is this. It's an antique bird music box, automated, but alas, he doesn't sing. We've taken him apart and the bellows, I think, have a hole in them or something. Looks like someone's repaired it in the past. Is he gonna move today? Oh, did you see it? Mm -hmm. So his little head will move. Um, and the contraption that it, it lifts his tail up and down and moves his beak, it, the little, the little, uh, Needles have to stick in like precisely to get that to work. Yeah, I hope one day I can get this guy working. I'd love to hear it sing. And even though he looks, he's kind of shoddy looking, not gonna lie, but great for Halloween. I still love him very much. And he's in my kitchen right now. I paid $6.99 for this guy. I saw him at the Goodwill and I snatched him up. I have a few things from auctions online auctions that I've done these past couple weeks. I just picked uh, one up yesterday and then I had one the last week. And the one last week, yes, I did it again. This one's a good size Bill Campbell base. Signed on the bottom. And it does have a little bit of crazing around this part, but man, that's a, that's a neat looking one. Almost looks like, grrr, like scratches. The inside is this lovely slate color. You can see inside there. Yeah, just all around a beautiful vase that needs a home. By the Bill Campbell. So I've been having really good luck with all the vintage jewelry and costume jewelry that I've been buying. Um, I bought some like crown trafari sets without knowing it and I'm getting notifications right now that it's bid it up to like $90 and I only paid like one or two dollars for it so I'm kind of like on the lookout now for all this old jewelry now this doesn't have any of that <laughs> but it did have a few neat pieces like this micro mosaic pendant. And I believe that there's a few sterling silver pieces in here. So it came with a bunch of different little pieces. There's some brooches. I think there's two of those in here. But there's all these little charms in here. Like this one is, looks like um, a man carrying bagpipes. These are so tiny, you might not be able to see them, guys. Will it show him? You're just gonna have to trust me. So there's that guy, and this one is Mark Sterling. It looks like a tiny tiki hut with the palm tree. Yeah, it's like so tiny. Oh, you can see them like that. And then it looks like there's like a little person hanging out over here. But yeah, this one is sterling. It's marked on the bottom. I know we have a few more. Here's a bicycle. A bike. Here we have a tiny Cupid. And a bear.
And we even have a little Santa charm. These are all quite heavy too. There's a little Santa. Any other ones that I'm missing? There's a, there's a star, but I don't know if it, it's like a charm. A little star. Anyway, there's a bunch of little tiny things here. This looks old. It's like a key ring or something. So yeah, we got all those things. I'll figure out what to do with them later. <laughs> Wrap up, I have two more pieces. This is a little German Stein, but it's either like a sugar, a sugar bowl or a sugar jar or like a mustard jar of some sort. It is uh, marked on the bottom here with a little flower stamp. And then it says what's well, either a date or some kind of maker's mark. Eight, five, zero, zero. So I don't know if that means 2000 or something else. This has little roses pattern all over it. Got lots of different colors in it. Cool little piece. And on top, it has something written in German there. I don't speak German, so I'm not sure what it says. If you guys can read that, and you have any idea of what it could say, let me know. And then the last thing we have today is this bowl. It's a ruffled glass bowl here. You can see through the light. It's shining through it. It looks kind of like a, a gold. Maybe it's just the color of my lamp. I think this is a hand blown piece. It's got this pretty uh, purple, purple trim. Underneath here it's white. Kind of looks almost opalescent through the light. And it has this green interior. And the photos when I bought this said that it glows under black light. I don't have a black light yet because I'm not a professional uranium uh, hunter. I'm just a hopeful huntress. And yeah, maybe I can find the picture that they put on their website and I can show you guys what it looked like lit up. I thought that was kind of cool for Halloween time. The green and the purple, but it kind of looks like a flower or something. Really pretty. It's got these nice ruffles all around it. Guys, that was my small little haul from these past couple weeks I've been gone. Did you like anything that I showed you today? Let me know. And what should I be on the lookout for? What should I stop buying? Probably Bill Campbell pieces and bells. <laughs> you can find me on eBay and Instagram under The Hopeful Huntress as well as here, if you're watching me. I hope you guys have a nice Labor Day weekend and happy hunting out there. Keep it hopeful, if you can. It's a jungle out there. Bye guys.